My name is Mrs. Rose Vivo. I'm the mother of the uh, incoming governor. What's your experience so far? My experience is, is, is not nothing to write home about. People are buying votes openly. How can you vote and you show who you are voting for? And the APC person is capturing you to go and give you money. Is that the society we are, we are trying to, to change? What are the INEC officials saying? About they are not saying anything. Even the police are not saying anything. They are watching and they are not doing anything. My name is Mrs. Rhodes Viva, the mother of Badebo. From all over Lagos, we are getting distressing reports of voter intimidation, voter suppression. You know, really, in a papa, one of our agents was shot and he's dead. And the worrying thing about this is that INEC and the police have shown to be complicit in this. Now, the reason why we're why we're doing this video is it's important that INEC and the police realize that they are provoking they are provoking Lagosians right now. And if tomorrow, if tonight Lagos catches fire, it will not be because it's our fault. It's because they did not do the right thing. INEC still has hours to make do the right thing. A lot of people will be able to, with the help of security agencies, calm down a lot of areas. But a lot of areas are still under intense attacks by thugs and hooligans of the APC. I call on INEC, most especially, and the police, not to set Lagos on fire. This is a state that houses 22 million people. Having that many people angry because of their because of their disenfranchise is not something that Nigeria needs right now. So I call on the INEC rec and everybody involved in this election to make sure they do the right thing and create at least the perception and the actuality of a free and fair election.